The James Webb Space Telescope has recently released a mind-boggling image that challenges our understanding of the universe. This revelation has sent shockwaves through the field of astronomy, as this innovative telescope captured two of the most ancient galaxies ever seen, defying our existing assumptions. This remarkable discovery, praised by Neil deGrasse Tyson, threatens to alter the laws of physics as we know them, leaving both scientists and stargazers in awe. Could our grasp of the cosmos be on the verge of shattering? How will this impact our understanding of the universe? Join us on this cosmic journey. It's getting horrible. James Webb's finding ends the debate in physics with a shattering image. In the vast and mysterious expanse of the cosmos, a profound enigma has long puzzled astronomers and physicists. This mystery centers on the crisis in cosmology a subject dealing with contradictory models and measurements that challenge our understanding of the universe's fundamental existence. At the heart of this cosmic enigma lies the James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of technology and astronomy poised to reveal breakthrough discoveries that could potentially transform our grasp of the cosmos. But what exactly is this crisis in cosmology, and how does the JWST fit into this vast celestial narrative? Neil deGrasse Tyson has raised the question, could the next revelation from the JWST be so fundamental that it shatters the very notion of physics as we know it? To answer this, we must first understand the context. For years, cosmologists have pieced together a detailed picture of the universe's evolution, from the fiery chaos of the Big Bang to the structured expanse of galaxies we see today. Central to this understanding is the standard model of cosmology, a framework that combines Einstein's general relativity with observations of cosmic processes. This model suggests a universe that formed roughly 13.8 billion years ago in a hot, dense state and has been expanding ever since. The cosmic microwave background, CMB, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, serves as a cornerstone of this model, providing a snapshot of the cosmos just 380,000 years after its origin. However, the universe's portrait painted by the standard model has been obscured by discrepancies in crucial data. One such discrepancy, known as the Hubble tension, arises from conflicting estimates of the universe's expansion rate. Measurements based on the CMB, such as those conducted by the Planck satellite, show a slower rate of expansion compared to studies of distant supernova and nearby galaxies. These opposing conclusions have led to a substantial difference in the calculated age of the universe, sparking debates and uncertainty among astronomers. But why does this matter? The rate of cosmic expansion is crucial to understanding everything from the universe's age to the origin of galaxies and the fate of the cosmos itself. Resolving this tension is not merely an academic exercise. It's a quest to comprehend the universe's essential nature. Now amid the tranquil darkness of space, a new era of cosmic discovery has begun, heralded by the astonishing revelations of the James Webb Space Telescope. This enormous leap in astronomical technology is not just an upgrade, it is a paradigm shift, a groundbreaking journey that has generated excitement and astonishment across the scientific world and beyond. The James Webb Space Telescope, widely regarded as the successor to the legendary Hubble Space Telescope, represents the pinnacle of modern astronomical technology. This behemoth of a space observatory, named after James E. Webb, the visionary NASA administrator who played a crucial role in the Apollo missions, was launched on December 25, 2021. It stands as the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built, a culmination of decades of scientific genius and international collaboration. The JWST's primary mirror, spanning 6.5 meters in diameter, dwarfs that of Hubble's 2.4 meters, allowing it to collect more light and detect fainter objects far deeper in the universe. The key to the JWST's unparalleled brilliance lies in its ability to view the universe predominantly in the infrared range. Unlike Hubble, which viewed mostly invisible and ultraviolet light, the JWST's focus on infrared allows it to see pasmic dust clouds and gaze into the most distant and ancient regions of the cosmos. Infrared observation is crucial in cosmology because it allows astronomers to examine the universe's earliest stages, a time when the first stars and galaxies were born. As the cosmos expands, light from distant objects is stretched or redshifted further toward the infrared portion of the spectrum. 
The JWST's powerful instruments are perfectly designed to detect this stretched light, making it an unmatched tool in the quest to understand the universe's infancy. Now the JWST has revealed some of the most distant galaxies ever observed, dating back to around 13.47 billion years ago. These early galaxies challenge our current understanding of how galaxies form and evolve. The traditional view is that after the Big Bang, matter began to coalesce under the influence of gravity, leading to the formation of stars and eventually galaxies. However, the formation of such mature, well-formed galaxies at such an early stage in the universe's history raises important questions. How did they form so quickly? What factors were at play in the universe's embryonic years that led to such rapid galaxy formation? The implications of the JWST's discoveries are far-reaching. They force us to re-examine our theories and models about the universe's evolution. Among these revelations, one of the most striking is the chemical simplicity found in the ancient galaxies studied by the James Webb Space Telescope. This discovery takes us back in time to an era when the universe was still in its infancy, offering a rare glimpse into the elemental makeup of the early cosmos. But what does the pristine chemical composition of these early galaxies tell us about the universe's earliest chapters? And why is this finding so crucial in our quest to understand cosmic history? In the field of cosmology, the chemical composition of galaxies is a vital indicator of their age and the events that shape them. The JWST, with its unique ability to study distant galaxies, has revealed that the earliest galaxies are primarily composed of the simplest elements, hydrogen and helium. This discovery aligns with the expectations of the Big Bang Theory, which suggests that the early universe was filled with a hot, dense plasma of these two elements. But why are these early galaxies so chemically simple? And what does this tell us about the environment in the nascent universe? The answer lies in the very heart of star evolution and nucleosynthesis. In the aftermath of the Big Bang, the cosmos was too hot and dense for atoms to form. As it expanded and cooled, protons and electrons combined to form hydrogen atoms, the most basic and abundant element in the universe. Helium, the second simplest element, was also produced during this early time through nuclear fusion reactions. However, heavier atoms, collectively known as metals in astronomical terms, were absent in this primordial mix. These elements, which include carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and iron, are created in the cores of stars and dispersed into the cosmos by supernova explosions. The scarcity of these heavy elements in the ancient galaxies discovered by the JWST provides critical insights into early supernova activity and star formation. It suggests that these galaxies are so ancient that they existed before or during the age of the earliest generations of stars, known as Population 3 stars. These stars, predicted to be massive, hot, and short-lived, were responsible for forging the first heavy elements and seeding the universe with the ingredients necessary for the formation of subsequent generations of stars and planets. However, their existence has proven elusive, with no confirmed observations to date. The lack of heavy elements also offers a unique glimpse into the nature of the early supernova. In the life cycle of a star, supernova explosions are the cataclysmic events that mark the end of a massive star's life and are responsible for dispersing heavy elements into the surrounding space. The pristine composition of the early galaxies suggests that either supernovae had not yet occurred in significant numbers, or that their remnants had not yet fully interacted with the interstellar medium. This finding challenges our current understanding of galaxy evolution and star formation, revealing that these processes may have unfolded differently in the early universe. But why is this insight so groundbreaking? The composition of these early galaxies provides a physical link to the universe's primordial past, a time capsule offering clues about the conditions that prevailed just after the Big Bang. It allows us to peer into an era that has remained shrouded in mystery, offering a glimpse into the processes that set the stage for the cosmic drama that unfolded over billions of years. It is a revelation that not only deepens our understanding of the early cosmos, but also challenges us to rethink the story of cosmic evolution. Each discovery brings us closer to answering some of the most fundamental questions about the universe. How did the earliest galaxies form? What were the conditions that led to the formation of the first stars? 
And how did the universe evolve from a state of fundamental simplicity to the complex, star-studded tapestry we see today? There are many more ways in which the James Webb Space Telescope has transformed our understanding of the universe's vastness. The discovery of a filamentary structure of 10 galaxies by the JWST invites us to explore the intricate network that makes up the large-scale structure of the cosmos, the cosmic web. This term conjures images of a vast, interconnected network, a giant tapestry woven across the fabric of space-time. But what is the cosmic web, and why is its discovery sending shockwaves through the scientific community? The concept of the cosmic web is not new. For decades, astronomers have theorized that galaxies are not randomly scattered throughout the universe, but are part of a massive, interconnected structure. This web consists of vast, thread-like filaments composed of dark matter, along which galaxies and galaxy clusters are strung like beads. These strands are interspersed with vast voids, forming a structure that spans billions of light years. The cosmic web is the scaffolding of the universe, a framework that dictates the distribution of galaxies, gas, and dark matter. What is groundbreaking about the JWST's recent discovery is the level of detail and scale at which we can now observe this cosmic web. The telescope's ability to peer deep into the distant universe allows us to see the web as it existed in its infancy, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The discovery of a filamentary structure of 10 galaxies by the JWST is akin to finding a needle in a cosmic haystack. It is a rare glimpse into the early stages of the cosmic web's formation, a time when the universe was still in its formative years. But why is this discovery so significant? Understanding the cosmic web is crucial to solving one of cosmology's most pressing questions. How did the universe evolve from a hot, dense state after the Big Bang to the complex, structured cosmos we see today? The cosmic web provides the answer. It serves as the backbone of the universe, a framework along which galaxies form and evolve. By studying this web, astronomers can trace the history of the universe's structure formation from the earliest galaxies to the present day. The discovery of the filamentary structure by the JWST also sheds light on the role of dark matter in the universe's evolution. Dark matter, an enigmatic substance that makes up about 27% of the universe's mass energy content, does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible to telescopes. However, its gravitational influence is crucial in shaping the large-scale structure of the cosmos. The cosmic web, with its vast filaments of dark matter, serves as the framework along which galaxies form and evolve. The JWST's discovery of a filamentary structure of galaxies provides further evidence of dark matter's role in the universe's evolution. The significance of the JWST's discoveries extends beyond the realm of science. They force us to confront our place in the universe, challenging our understanding of our existence and our role in the grand cosmic narrative. The James Webb Space Telescope has not only deepened our understanding of the cosmos, but it has also inspired a sense of wonder and awe that transcends the boundaries of science. As we continue to explore the universe with the JWST, we are reminded of the profound mystery that surrounds us. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding the fundamental nature of the cosmos, yet each revelation also reminds us of how much we still have to learn. The universe is vast, complex, and full of surprises. The JWST has opened a new chapter in our quest to understand it, revealing a universe that is far more intricate and mysterious than we ever imagined. But as we gaze into the depths of the cosmos, we are also reminded of our own limitations. The universe is a vast, uncharted territory, full of unknowns. The more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know. The JWST has given us a glimpse into the universe's early history, but it has also raised new questions that challenge our understanding of the cosmos. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.